what's happening guys Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and today I wanted to show you how to add a pool manually to your Austin miner uh, whether it's for auto switching or for uh, you know directly mining a currency or coin of your choice or algo um, you can set this up in Austin miner uh, pr pretty much the same way uh, the main reason I'm showing it to you is because if we go into Austin miner options online services uh, one of the things uh, that I notice, uh, for example, Blockmasters, if you look through the algos here, basically uh, Phi 2 or Pi 2, whatever you want to call it, is not on here. Only Phi is. So uh, in order to manually add it, what I'd like to do is first look at how everything is set up if you're going to be using auto switching. Um, and you can see that, you know, it's basically you, you got the algo. Uh, you choose the service, algo, uh, the URL, usually it's stratum uh, plus TCP, but if there's anything special, you can click here and add a custom one. Uh, then it's, uh, you know, algorithm URL part and then identifier. You just put the same algo in there. And then the password if you want to get paid out in an alternate currency like uh, Litecoin. So what I like to do is copy this address first. Now the port number is not going to be correct, but if you copy this address first, hit cancel, go to add, you can paste that in the URL base. First you need to choose the service, so whatever service you're going to be using, zpool, uh, mining pool hub, whatever it may be. Uh, and then you choose the algorithm, and then of course we need to adjust the port number. Now the port number you can just go to the website and you can see on here in Blockmasters there's Phi2 right here, there's the port number, uh, it is Luxcoin that's on here. So 8332, we go back to our awesome miner and switch out that last number or the port number for 8332. Uh, you can put in the algorithm uh, URL part and identifier. You could leave it blank. Leaving it blank didn't do anything for me. Putting it in didn't do anything for me. But if you wanted some more specific stats, you could certainly do that as well. Um, once you're done and you have chosen all the correct parameters and included it in your managed profit switcher or whatever pool, um, and whether you're directly mining or not, you can do that. Um, and then there's your your new algorithm that is supported by the pool, but unfortunately is not in Awesome Miner. Now Awesome Miner does a great job of updating this program. Uh, the team there uh, pretty much takes feedback and, and kicks it into high gear and gets things done. Uh, for example, when Zerg Pool did go away, uh, they quickly removed it from the profit switching area, uh, unfortunately. but when you're trying to mine so say for example like my last video if your hardware is specifically tuned or is good at mining a specific algorithm but that pool doesn't support that algorithm then you're kind of stuck like Chuck but if the pool does support it and it's just not in awesome miner you can manually enter in the uh, the information and mine on that algorithm so for example Phi 2 and Raven uh, or X16R are probably the top two uh, things besides Prog POW or Prog Pal that my system is good at mining. My my, my system in here uh, for for every miner it's different. So obviously see see what your hash rate is per algorithm and then determine what your top four or five algos are and make your decision based on that. But uh, adding this here, I can now do auto switching between Raven Coin or other six x16r algos and currencies and then uh, phi2 now if you see here on the right what I did is I selected all the pools or all the algos I hit bulk edit and then I turned it off I just update include from profit switcher and the only ones that I have on right now is x16r x16s x17 and phi2 those are gonna, probably gonna be the best ones that this particular card is good at mining so now in profit switching I can easily switch between whichever is the most profitable at that time um, uh, I have two down here don't worry about that I already added one I just wanted to show you how to add one so that is how you add a manual that's how you put a manual entry in the profit switching for your awesome minor program uh, obviously your mileage may vary depending on your hardware and stuff like that so uh, you want to do your testing test out the algos test out the hash rate find out what your top five are and if you find a pool an auto switching pool that supports it um, and it's not in awesome miner that's how you manually enter it if you want to do so besides uh, Phi 2 everything else is already in there that I'm my system is currently good at mining so I don't need to add anything else but if you do bump into something um, 
for example, uh, like a Z pool, a hash pool that the, they added a new algorithm slash currency, but it's not an awesome miner yet. And you want to be an early bird because eventually awesome miner will add it. It's just, it's not in there now. So if you wanted to be an early bird and get on it and start mining it, then that's how you can certainly add to your online services and stuff like that. Moving on. Uh, I wanted to commend Zpool for their new UI or GUI or their new website because it looks really good. Uh, they, they made a dramatic change to it uh, recently. I don't know the exact date, but they just launched it uh, and it, it looks it looks really good. So at the top there, we get you know site news information. We can see how many miners are on it, algos, coins, all that good stuff. The pool hash rate and then the Twitter feed, um, the usual. Uh, but instead of the normal YIMP base layout, they have a new UI. So they call it Zpool 2.0. And of course, at the top there, we still have, you know, our normal home wallet algos, uh, where before it was just, you know, home wallet. It was it was the normal YIMP setup, right? So they, 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 they want to differentiate themselves from the rest of the pack. And, and I think they've done a really good job on it. Of course, on the algos, you got all your algos at the top instead of the normal listing like on the right here where you have to select a coin and then go look at the coin supported at the bottom. It's all right there. It's very intuitive, very good, uh, very straight to the point. So you select an algo like X16R, you see all the available coins, uh, what's currently being mined, uh, the blocks, the minor versions, so the different versions of miners that they have, which all of this information was on the original site, but the layout. And just the uniformity of it all is, is so much better. Of course, there's still FAQs, getting started, help, all that good stuff um, on this website that just makes it easier. In my eyes, it makes it easier for new miners uh, or, or people trying to get into mining. So this is uh, very good for the beginner level all the way up to the expert level in miners. And just the overall layout of the pool is so much better. So Zpool, I commend you on that. Um, and I appreciate it. I really do. I, I, I like the way they, they changed everything uh, to kind of fit and, and kind of update it and give it this new futuristic uh, look, I guess you could say. Um, so continue doing that because you're, you're definitely uh, leading the way for yimp based pools, at least uh, in my eyes. So just to recap, again, if you find that a certain pool um, has an algorithm or currency that you can mine, but unfortunately it's not in awesome miner. Uh, that's how you can add it. Um, just, you know, find out what your hash rate is, uh, for that particular algorithm. If it is profitable for you and it is supported by the pool, but it just isn't an awesome miner yet. That's how you would add it. Um, what I showed you earlier. And then, um, you can also apply that same information to adding a pool manually if you just want to mine directly instead of profit switching or auto switching that's how you can apply that same uh, information to manually adding a pool so i hope this helped you out uh, like share subscribe and comment below let me know if there's anything i missed or anything that i need to go over in my next video or my future videos i appreciate your time uh, thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you next time